ஹரி கிருஷ்ணா அவங்க நம்ம பிரசென்ட் ஆன் தி டாபிக் 24 சாப்டர் பை திரோமராஜ் கோஷ் பத்திரிகாட் ஹெட் நவ லெட் மீ ஆஃபன் தி டிஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்ய நரம் சேவானரதமம் தேவன் சரஸ்வதம் யாசம் ததோஜயம் ஸ்ரீஷோம் and the sage is also went back to the homes also now i'm going to play i'm now i'm going to tell how to maraj goes back to god head master said to vidura to maharaj and he subsided and he completely ceased from the yakshas koira king of yakshas appeared before to maharaj with folded hands koira said oh son of son of shakti I'm glad you have given up all, up all your enmity, even though it is difficult. I am pleased with you. Actually, you have not killed the Yakshas, nor have they killed your brother, Uttam. It says, it, it's all it's my supreme law. For the unlimited cause of generation, and I listen to this guy, I cannot tell you for a check. I stand to kill on one side, and I'll go. as i and you on this basic subordinate concept of life is a product of ignorance supreme personality of god is the super soul of all living entities my dear to our may the lord great always grace you with good fortune and begin rendering service unto the transcendental form of the lord engage yourself fully in the devotional service of the lord for only he can deliver us from this entanglement of materialistic existence everything in this material world is happening by the supreme lord's potency and he is aloof from her activities my dear dhru maharaj son of maharaj uttar bharat we have heard that you are constantly engaged in transcendental loving service to the supreme please ask whatever you need to know more from me
Știi la drama, dar știrile astea descosmic manifestation is a dream because it is a creation of the illusionary external energy of the Supreme Lord. At the end, left his kingdom, he considered all his body, wives, children, friends, army, rich treasury, and very comfortable palace and to be creations of the illusionary energy. He retired to the forest in the Himalayas from the Spadikash. His senses became completely purified. He, he fixed his sitting position and by yogic practice he controlled the breathing processes and the air of life. In this way, his senses were completely withdrawn. Then he concentrated his mind upon the Archavitra form of the Lord, thus meditating upon him entered into complete trance. Because of his transcendental bliss and incessant tears flowed from his eyes, his heart melted, was swerving and standing on the hairs all over his body, thus transformed into in a trance of the world one source. Two Murats completely forgot his bodily existence and thus he immediately became liberated from a material body. As soon as the symptoms of liberation manifested, he saw a very beautiful aeroplane coming down from the sky as if a brilliant full moon were coming down, illuminating all, all the ten directions. He saw two very beautiful souls Nanda and Shunanda of the Lord, of Lord Vishnu in the plate. They had four hands and blackish bodily luster and were very youthful. He simply offered obeisances with folded hands and chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, and glorified the Lord, glorified the holy names of the Lord. The associates of Lord Vishnu said, Dear King, let there be all good fortune for you. We are associates of the Supreme Vishnu to God and if you could take into the spiritual world. To achieve Vishnu Lok is very difficult, but you, your austerity you have conquered. Now please come, you are welcome to go there. Dear King Dua, neither your forefathers nor anyone else before you ever achieved such a transcendental planet, the planet known as Vishnu, where the Lord Krishna resides is the highest of all. Please come with us and live there eternally. When he heard the sweet speeches, he immediately took a sacred bath, dressed himself in or suitable ornaments, and performed his daily spiritual duties. Thereafter, he offered his to the great sages present there and accepted their, re- their blessings. Before getting aboard, Dua Maharaj circumambulated it and also offered obeisances to the associates of Vishnu. In the meantime, he became as blind as molten gold. When Dua Maharaj was attempting to get on the transcendental plane, he saw that personified approach him. He put his feet on the head of death, and thus he got on the airplane. At that, that time, drums and kettle drums resounded from the sky. The chief Gandharvas began to sing, and other demigods shouted flowers like torrents of rain upon Doom Maharaj. Doom Maharaj was seated in the transcendent airplane which was just about to start. He remembered his poor mother, Sumiti. He thought, how shall I go alone? Why couldn't the planet and leave my behind my poor mother? The great associates of why couldn't the planet showed him that his mother, Sumiti, was going forward in another plane. While Doom Maharaj was passing through space, he gradually saw all planets of the solar system all and all the demigods in their airplane showering clouds upon him like rain. Doom Maharaj thus surpassed the seven planetary systems of the great sages. 
no, who are known as Saptarishis beyond he, that he achieved the transcendental situ, stay, situation of the permanent life in the planet where Lord Vishnu lives. Parties with which one can achieve abode of Lord Krishna are all, only persons who are constantly engaged in welfare activities for other living entities can reach Vaikuntha planets. Persons who are peaceful and proposed, cleansed, purified, and who are the art of pleasing all other living entities keep friendship only with devotees of the Lord. They alone can very easily achieve perfection of going back home, back to Godhead. Saint Maitre continued, My dear Bhutu, listen to the Guru. As I heard a gold circumambulates a central pole on the right side, on the Lord Mary is within the universal sky, circumambulates the whole of Dhruva Maharaj with great force and speed. After absorbing the glories of Dhruva Maharaj, the great Chaitanya the playing his Veena went to the sacrificial arena of the Pachitas and happily chanted the following three verses. The great Chaitanya said, simply by the influence of the spiritual advent advancement and powerful austerity to merge inquired acquired a lot of possession not possible to attain even for a so-called Vedantist or strict followers of the Vedic principles not to speak about ordinary human beings. So we are given by Narada. Yes, you have to merit because of harsh words of his stepmother went to the forest at age of old, only five years. Under my direction, under my austerity, although supreme is unconquerable, Dhumraj defeated him with specific qualifications. Dhumraj attained an exalted position at the age of only five or six years, undergoing austerity for six months. After hearing the narration, one can fulfill desire for wealth, reputation, and increased duration of life. It is also a species that one can even go to the heavenly planet or deep the world of just by hearing about him. The demigods also became pleased because this narration is so glorious and it is so powerful that it can counteract all results of one's sinful actions. Anyone who hears of the narration of Tom Maharaj who repeats with faith and devotion to understand his pure character attains the pure devotional pa- pa- platform and for one who desires greatness and influence can achieve with this process the great change Maitreya recommended one can the character and actors of Dhu Maharaj both in the morning and evening with great attention and care in a society of Brahman or twice more persons. Persons who are completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord should decide the narration of Dhum Maharaj. The narration of Dhum Maharaj is, is knowledge for the achievement of immortality. Persons under of the absolute can play, lead to the path of truth and who are out of transcendental kindness gain the interest. The transcendental activities of Dumaraj are well known all over the world and are ready for you. The childhood in childhood Dumaraj rejected all kinds of toys and playthings, left the protection of his mother and seriously took shelter of the Supreme Personal body. That way, Vidur concludes that the narration with complete
Thank you everyone. Hare Krishna.